Jamaican ghost stories that will keep you up at night. Dark Country Road. Full story. A young man was raised in an isolated place in St. Mary, close to the town of Port Maria. It is a place known for Obia working and wandering spirits. The young man always glimpsed the spirits ever so often, but they never came near enough to harm him since he is an East Indian Jamaican, and his spirit is strong. They will even try to harm everyone else around him but never him. On a summer holiday, the young man and his cousin decided to take a walk to Port Maria to approach some ladies. They were in the town until midnight. They left for home and while walking, they felt a vibe to take the longer route instead of the usual shorter one. He couldn't place his finger on it but something was off. They were close to the area of Grant's town where they usually walk up the hill. Their house was 18 miles from the town so they had a long way to go. The road they would be taking was dark and lonely, nobody lives on that road so it was just the young men and the bushes. While they were talking and walking, the young man heard a sound as though a pig was growing, it was loud. He knew there wasn't any pig pens nearby so he got scared and gave his cousin that side of the road. If that sound was what he thought it was, then his cousin would be grabbed, not him. The young man laughed to himself. He asked his cousin if he heard it. His cousin looked at him and said yes, so they sped up. While rushing home, he could hear the sound in the bushes catching up to them. His cousin then got upset and asked him if he thinks he could trick him, claimed that he didn't hear anything and told him that he couldn't scare him. This made the young man second guess himself. He thought he was going crazy. They reached a shop that had seats outside. The young men always thought that the shop would be good for a tourist attraction. They sat there resting their legs. His cousin began to laugh at him again, asking him if he took him for a fool, and he was only playing along. While he was talking, they both heard the sound of wooden slippers stamping on the road. They both looked in the direction it was coming from. It was right above them at the intersection of the crossroad to enter Kidland. They heard when the thing jumped on top of the roof of the shop and made the same pig sound as earlier. The young man began to pray and Bhagwan got in Hindi and then asked his late great granny to protect them if she could and his ancestors. He called everybody. That was the first time he ever felt real fear. Then as they ran to the next crossroad, they saw about a hundred dogs running from one of the roads. The dogs ignored them and headed straight to whatever it was and started to bark at it in the dark. They heard a last cry from whatever it was, and they started to run again. When they got home, they didn't enter the house at the exact time, but breezed off. When they were ready to go in, they walked backwards as they entered the house. The young man's heart almost came out of his chest when he thought about what had happened. Whatever that thing was, the young man was glad it didn't have its way with him. Like and follow for more.